Welcome guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jish and welcome to the new workshop. This is gonna be the first video in this new space. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about 3D printers and how we can use them in our motorcycle builds from prototyping right up to making actual parts for these bikes. They are brilliant tools to have. I've been using them over the last few years with some of my builds. And today we're gonna to be looking at this brand new one that Creality have kindly sent out to me, the Ender 5 S1. So hopefully you like this video. Drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into this video. Now, for those who don't know, 3D printing is basically where you get a plastic in a filament form like this wire, and they melt it and feed it through a high temperature nozzle, accurately place it on a bed layer by layer, and they build it up to make a 3D object. Very simple. You can create some really interesting and wonderful shapes. And there's so many resources online for things that you can print. Uh, Thingiverse, for example, there's so many cool things on there where you can just download them and just get printing. For me, I like making the parts that I need to use for my bikes, the little intricate bits, and even some of the more technical stuff like the headlight mount on my XJ650. That was all done by 3D printing. Now, for those who know about 3D printing, they know the Creality Ender printers are the go-to printers for any creator out there. Obviously, there's more expensive ones like the Ultimakers and stuff, but for an affordable way into 3D printing, these Ender printers are incredible for the money. My Ender 3, which I've been using for years, have been absolutely faultless all the way through up to getting this machine right here. And I'm still using it to this day, and I will be keeping that Ender 3 as well because, because the more printers I have, the more parts I can make at the same time. So I'm really glad to add this to my arsenal of printers, um, and I look forward to seeing what I can make with it. Now the thing with the new Ender 5 S1 is the speed. This thing is lightning fast to anything else out there compared to at this price range. That part you saw made at the start of this video, this right here, this took just over an hour to print. On my other printer, that would have taken two, two and a half hours max. So this thing is more than double fast, honestly. It is crazy how quick this thing can go. Don't get me wrong, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to printing, so I'm not there knowing all the technicals and like, what the best settings and so on to make the prints just perfect. There are a lot more knowledgeable people out there, but as a hobbyist and doing what I do in the workshop, this thing is phenomenal for me. I just want to mention all the prints shown in this video were designed by a guy called Heath at Evil Components. He makes generative design components that just look super cool and have super strong durability. It's very cool stuff. He's the guy who designed the headlight mount on my XJ650, even the exhaust tip as well. I'll leave a link down below to his Instagram. Go check him out. He's a really cool guy making really cool things. And thanks, Eve, for letting me play with some of your designs. So yeah, let's have a close look at this printer and see what we can do with it. So a few quick technical specs on this printer. It's got a 220 by 220 by 280 print bed. It's got a 300 degree C nozzle, which means you can print a wide range of filaments. I'm even going to try some carbon fiber later on with this ruby tip nozzle I've got. It's got a printing speed of 250 millimeters per second, which as I said, is very fast. It comes with a magnetic build plate, which is a really handy thing. It's also self-leveling, which is also really nice. The touchscreen interface is all new as well. Uh, makes it really easy to follow and work out where you're going and what you're doing. Again, me being a novice, I thought I'd struggle with this, but no, I actually find it really easy. It's got a USB Type-C port, which you can plug things straight into, or you can just do things on an SD card, which I find the most easiest. But yeah, I look forward to seeing what we can do with this machine. So all in all, it is a cracking printer. It does everything you'd expect it to, probably a little bit more as well. Now for full disclosure, they are not paying me 
to speak about this printer. They're not paying me to test this out. I'm allowed to say whatever I want and I will be fully honest with you. And there are a few drawbacks and things I think they could probably improve upon. For example, the cooling system. It's actually a 3D printed part itself, which I've got no problem with. But when the rest of the printer is all finished and feels nice and has proper materials, you look at this 3D printed part on it as a production part and you think it's not quite finished. And because it just sits on the two rails at the back and that holds the entire weight of the bed, I sometimes think, is it going to be very like front heavy with any weight on this front? But don't get me wrong, I've not had any issues yet and it just seems sturdy enough. So I definitely recommend this printer. It is one of those ones that for the more professional, they might go down a different route depending on what you're trying to do. But for anyone who's new to the world of 3D printers, I think this is a very good intro into the 3D printing world. So yeah, let me know what you think about this printer, what you think we could print on it. I really want to try out this ruby tipped nozzle I have. I just need to get the right filament and right settings for it so we can start printing things like carbon fiber, which will obviously will make things super strong and almost like proper finished parts for motorcycles. So yeah, let me know what we can do down below. Um, if you like what we do, you can join us on Patreon. You can also become a member by clicking join down below. Um, thank you very much for watching and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.